Mask rules for cruise ships. We have a roundup of the current policies so that you will know before you go. Hi, this is Bob with Bucket List Cruise and Travel. We cover travel news, trip reports, and coming soon, a fun way to learn about destinations which you may want to add to your bucket list. It's called Travel Trivia. So if you like travel, please consider liking and subscribing so that you don't miss all of our great travel content. Today, we're going to go over some of the mask policies from some of the top cruise lines sailing from the U.S. waters in the near future. Mask policies, as you know, have been changing fast and it has been hard even for us in the industry who are watching the policies on a daily basis. So let's talk about the latest mask policies from some of the leading brands. Let's start off with Carnival Cruise Line. With eight ships currently sailing, Carnival Cruise Line updated its face mask policy on August 7th. Now, all guests are required to wear face masks indoors in places such as elevators, shops, casinos, and other areas, and in the queuing areas of the lines. In any indoor area where many people are gathered, and when you're not eating or drinking, you're going to require to wear a face mask. Royal Caribbean. All guests and crew will be required to wear a mask while on board a Royal Caribbean International cruise ship. Specifically, guests should wear face masks in nearly all public settings, regardless of physical distancing, but will not be required to wear face masks in their own stateroom, the cruise line said on its website. There are exceptions, of course, however, such as dining venues where guests can eat and drink without face masks while being seated, providing physical distancing is being observed. Next is Princess Cruises. Princess Cruises updated its face mask policy in August as a response to, well, you know why. The brand now strongly encourages guests to wear face masks when indoors, and they are required to wear face masks in elevators and in designated indoor entertainment areas, all retail shops, and in the casino as well, except of course, when you are eating or drinking. Guests also must wear face masks prior to being seated in all dining areas. Princess also reserves the right to ask passengers to wear a mask in other designated areas where larger numbers of guests may congregate. Celebrity Cruises. Celebrity Cruises face mask policy varies by region and vaccination status. Sailings outside of North America may require face masks to be worn indoors, except when eating or drinking, the company said on its website. In other regions, masks will not be required for vaccinated guests following the U.S. CDC guidelines. Unvaccinated guests under the age of 12 years old, however, are required to use the face mask while indoors when not in their stateroom, except, of course, eating and drinking. Holland America. Holland America strongly encourages guests to wear face masks when in public spaces indoors. All guests will be required to wear a face mask with no exceptions in elevators and in designated indoor entertainment areas, in all retail shops and in the casino except when eating or drinking. Guests will also be required to wear face masks prior to being seated in the main dining rooms and in the buffet area. And occasionally Holland America will ask you in other designated areas where larger numbers of guests may congregate, the company stated on its website. Next is the new Virgin Voyages, which has not yet begun sailing in the U.S. waters. They state they will be following the same guidance at its is recommended on land in accordance with the CDC and the UK government. So if people are advised to wear masks there, we will do the same at sea, the company said on its website. So what are your thoughts? Do you have a cruise booked in the new near future on one of these cruise lines? This is Bob with Bucket List Cruise and Travel. Please leave me a comment down below. I would love to know if you think these policies are good or not so good. Thanks for watching.